Hey everyone, Mike Clark here. I'm with Derek Shudin. Uh, he is a, an independent insurance agent with Goosehead Insurance. Um, and uh, he's here to discuss uh, various things regarding property and casualty insurance and hoping to educate you guys on a couple things. So, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. Thanks yeah. For me. Yeah. All right, I have a question, and, and this is for all of you homeowners who have kids, you have a trampoline, and you have not told your insurance agent that you have that trampoline. Why is it important to add that to your coverage? Well, for one, um, you want to make sure you do tell your insurance agent. <laughs> that way the insurance company is aware um, mm -hmm. of that that trampoline or swimming pool on the property. Mm -hmm. um, there is added risk having a trampoline or a swimming pool. Um, and if you do not disclose that to the insurance company, there could be, um, you could run into a situation where the, the insurance company will not cover you for that. Makes sense, you didn't tell them about it. Right, so exactly. Risk. Yeah. exactly. Um, and that goes into the liability discussion that we talked about mm -hmm. earlier. There's, there's added liability with having something like that on the property. Um, always wanna make sure there is a fence around the swimming pool, also a trampoline. Um, don't want to run into a situation where a neighbor kid comes running over and jumps on that trampoline and yeah. falls off and, and you know possibly injures himself and then you're looking at you know could be a lawsuit on your hands. Yeah. So it's always important to disclose. Um, same with dogs as well. Mm -hmm. um, certain dog breeds, um, companies would like to know what type of dog you have. Um, never want to run into a situation again where you don't have coverage because you have yeah. a, a pit bull or German Shepherd on the property. Gotcha. We have a golden retriever. I'm assuming that they're good to go. They're good to go. All right, yes. cool. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, just because I've had this happen to me, and I've had a neighbor where you have a trampoline, right? We have strong winds here in Southern Illinois. Next thing you know, you wake up the next morning after a bad storm and your trampoline uh, is has been moved. And mm -hmm. worst case scenario, it could, it could blow into your neighbor's house. Yeah, yeah, so. that's, uh, you know, making sure that the trampoline is secured into the ground. I know it's probably not something everybody thinks about, but yeah. in this area with the storms that we do have, um, the winds that we can have, possibility of tornadoes, you never want to run into that type of situation. Yeah, for sure. So one thing is, that's very important is that Derek and I don't know you. We don't know the ins and outs of your situation. We don't know what might be or might not be uh, um, uh, recommended for you. So. Anything that Derek discussed today, anything that I said, they should not be deemed as recommendations. If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, if you'd like to get a second opinion, uh, certainly reach out to Derek. Uh, a link to his website will be, uh, will be with this video.